became interested in pole dancing through wanting to try something new through societies, uh, that whole feeling of when you go to university and you're like, oh, I want to try something new. And I was like, you know what, let's just give pole dancing a try. And then just like loved it after the taster session. Pole dancing to me is a way of freedom. So whenever I've got any stress going on in my life, whether it be through university or home, I can go to pole dancing and completely lose focus of all of that and just have that focus directed onto pole. <laughs> first pole dance class that one was a mixture of emotions um, you've got some fear and discomfort you're like oh what if I do something wrong what's everyone thinking about me is my clothes all right um, am I wearing too little too much um, my family and friends opinions of me as a pole dancer at the start of me pole dancing at the university I think they were on, on, all along the lines of, oh, you're going to be a stripper then, or um, it's a bit ridiculous. Then after I've a year, about a year of doing the pole dancing, that sort of progressed and their opinions changed to, oh, wow, I wish I could do this. Oh, you must have really amazing core strength. Could you show me how to do this, this, this? And their perspective has completely changed to that of the stereotype to more of an understanding of that actually it's more of a fitness uh, as well and sports and that they've now come to admire it more. So my last year's inter-university pole dance competition performance, my mum and my nan flew from Northern Ireland to Scotland to come and watch the performance. Um, I wouldn't say there's more male pole dancers than females. It's quite a female dominant area of sports. Um, but there are more and more male pole dancers getting into the sport. Um, there's now more men only categories in pole dancing. And there's also Mr. Pole UK categories where people, uh, where men can actually compete alongside women as well. Anyone can do pole dancing if they put their minds to it. We have every year as a society, we go to the society's fair and we've got people coming in going, oh, I don't think I could do pole dancing. I have no strength, I've got no upper body strength, I've got no flexibility. Oh, I'm too big to do pole dancing. Um, all of those, you're not too big to do pole dancing. You don't need any previous strength or don't need any gym or flexibility to do it. It's more about how determined you are to go and do pole dancing. My advice to other pole dancers or people starting up with pole dancing is what I tend to tell my students at the moment is that they'll need to get over the fear of doing moves and to get over the pain of doing them. Uh, the pain is in regards to like friction burns, um, that sort of feeling where it's skin against a metal pole, um, but that sort of subsides over time. Uh, so those are the two main things that I tell people that they'll need to get over earlier on because that will stop them progressing in pole dancing. But I say, if you're unsure whether you want to start pole dancing, do a taster session, take a friend along, even give it a try, and you'll notice that if you start from a month progress time, you can still see a whole lot of difference in your body's physique and your confidence as well.